Have you ever found yourself jumping from one relationship to another, or staying in a relationship even when you know it's not working out? It may be time to take a step back and examine the underlying reasons behind these patterns. If you're a survivor of childhood trauma or neglect, these behaviors could be an attempt to fill the void of your attachment wounds. By understanding and healing these wounds, you can start to form healthier and more fulfilling relationships. Survivors of childhood trauma or neglect often carry deep emotional wounds that can affect their relationships throughout their lives. One common pattern is the tendency to jump from one relationship to another, in search of the love and validation that was missing in childhood. Unfortunately, this pattern can lead to a cycle of disappointment, heartbreak, and confusion. On the other hand, some survivors may find themselves staying in relationships long past their expiration date. This can be due to a fear of being alone or a lack of self-worth that leads them to settle for less than they deserve. Regardless of the pattern, the root cause is often the same, an unhealed attachment wound that is driving the behavior. So, what can you do if you find yourself jumping from relationship to relationship, or staying in a relationship that is no longer serving you? The first step is to acknowledge that there may be an underlying issue that needs to be addressed. This can be a difficult and painful process, but it is necessary for true healing to occur. One helpful tool is to start journaling about your relationship patterns and any feelings or emotions that come up for you. This can help you gain insight into your behavior and identify any patterns or triggers that may be driving it. You may also want to consider talking to a therapist or counselor who can help you explore your attachment wounds and develop coping strategies. Another important aspect of healing attachment wounds is learning to practice self-compassion and self-care. This means treating yourself with kindness and understanding, and making time for the things that bring you joy and fulfillment. By nurturing yourself in this way, you can start to heal the inner voice that tells you that you are not worthy of love and affection. It is also important to remember that healing takes time and patience. It is not a quick fix, but a gradual process of growth and development. Be gentle with yourself and celebrate the small steps along the way. Remember that you are worthy of love and that you have the power to create healthy and fulfilling relationships in your life. In conclusion, jumping from relationship to relationship or staying in a relationship past its expiration date can be a sign of unhealed attachment wounds. By acknowledging and addressing these wounds, survivors can start to form healthier and more fulfilling relationships. Whether through journaling, therapy, self-care, or other tools, the journey of healing is a powerful and transformative one. With patience, self-compassion, and a willingness to grow, survivors can find the love and connection they deserve.